before dawn. Phew, I made it, stretch and yawn. Shit shave and shower, usually in that order. Rubber dub dub, oi! Only one man in this tub. Would do a gusul, depending on what transpired in the shape shifting darkness till dawn. Don a kaftan, bob up and down, mutter a bevy of guttural supplications, along with the sequence of prescribed transitions akin to a mini workout of body, soul, and mind. Two rackers done, roll up my mat. Time for my BP Medicare shun. Flick the kitchen switch, and what do I see? Them bloody creatures scurrying about hurriedly. Mostly small ones, others really incy wincy moving zigzaggedly as they beat a hasty retreat. Impressive. They move at three miles an hour and try to escape. Full of zest, they find a space to hide and gain some respite from the spray I've just sprayed in their face. They've been around for 300 million years. Incredibly adept, survival is their game. Hmm. This makes me reflect, pause to paradoxically inquire. How do we really differ from these creatures so similar? Won't lay down, won't stay down, or readily expire. We too propagate at an alarming rate. 200 million and counting. Survival is also our game. An opportunity here, a bit of magu magu there. Sprinkle our actions liberally with prayer. Ignore the despair as we plot our ascendancy. Not the best of places to be, hence the drain of our best brains, the academically brilliant, financially astute, and of course the criminally insane, ha, 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 which they can keep. Like those damn insects, we go near and far, embedding ourselves within our host societies, white house to penitentiaries, you will find us there, plying our trade, spare parts, sports, even top dollar consultancies. Back home, our structureless existence fortifies our resilience. Frustratingly counterbalanced by our profligacy, the degradation and depletion of our most valuable resource, no, not bloody oil, us, ordinary plain human beings. I cope by employing selective amnesia, fuzzy recollections and facing my front until something comes along to really piss me off. Like when a president leaves his residence, ignores our decrepit facilities, ventures abroad for medical treatment. Why not just fix the damn system? Callous insensitivity is all it can be. Wallahi, I'm not impressed. I regain my composure, get my BP under control. Recognize my predicament is not a condition, but merely a state of mind. So the next time I'm called Periplaneta Africana, I'll beam with pride, cast the insult aside, nod at being likened to the cockroach, the longest surviving insects alive and quietly say I am a proper Nigerian no excuses not one <laughs>